Good afternoon, this is Lost Cobalt uh, on YouTube, Golden Cobalt on ECF. This is my second take of trying to review this device. I'm back from the holidays. I thought I'd started off with the device review. This is the Golden Greek Telescopic Battery, or GGTB. Um, I want to review this device because there are some reviews out there, but I think they've glossed over some of the flaws. And it's a good device, but you need to be aware of some of the faults that may come with getting this. Um, this is... A battery uh, mod that I got for the sole purpose of doing low resistance 3.7 vaping for that purpose it's um, on paper it's a great unit uh, the button on it locks uh, you just turn it and the button doesn't go down that's great if you want it in your pocket or purse or uh, I put mine in my laptop bags a lot and you know you just don't want it going off especially with low resistance atomizers because they will melt if you hold it down for too long um, the button on it is flawless, but it wasn't when I got it out of the mailbox, and I want to point that out. I did have to disassemble it and clean it, and even now, I don't know if you can hear it still, but there's like a, a grinding. It was uh, markably worse. When I first got it, it was almost like pushing down sandpaper onto another sheet of sandpaper. Uh, cleaning fixed that a lot. I think I need to clean it at least one more time to get rid of it completely. As of now, it's just so easy to push. I'm, I'm really happy with the button. The way I do it, I put it against my palm and kind of make a fist, and it fires every time um, since I've cleaned it. Um, other than the button, the other flaw that I have, and this is a big one, I got this to use on uh, 17670 batteries. Those are large uh, 3.7 volt batteries, and I wanted it to work all day on a, a low resistance atomizer, and they will do that with my vaping style. The problem is, and I gotta go over this quick, because the last two, uh, last take I did on this went over time but this thing is not completely designed for these batteries look at this you see that it doesn't want to go in there um, this one will go in there if I uh, if I go like that push it in but it ain't coming out the only way to get it out is to take one of these or something that won't scratch up the metal this works fine plastics not going to scratch up this metal and uh, push it back out and that's the only way to get it in and out. You have to take off the bottom cap and the top cap to get uh, these Ultra Fire 17670 batteries in and out of this mod. Now, they say you can use the AW17670 batteries and they will slide right in and out. I don't know. I don't have any. I plan on ordering some. The problem with those is they're $10 to $11 each. Um, these are $3 each. So I would much rather have been able to use these, and I wish this unit had been designed better so that it would allow for Chinese variants in diameter. I mean, he has to know that people use Chinese batteries, right? And that, you know, they're not always exactly 17 millimeters, but there's just no room. If your battery's over spec by even a bit, this, um, this mod destroyed my other 17670 battery. Um, the threads on it caught the tape and it got th the battery actually threaded into the device I had to take a hammer in and um, hammer the battery out it got detaped I had to throw that battery away because I'm not going to use a lithium ion battery that's been both hammered on and detaped anymore um, I did use a 14500 battery in here it worked fine but this mod's just too big in my opinion to bother with the 14500 battery um, See, this is the problem with this mod. I've got to push down so that I maintain battery contact and thread it at the same time. I shouldn't have to do this, but because the battery uh, doesn't slide freely in here, the spring can't push back. All right, so now that we've gotten that big issue out of the way, uh, this is a 901 threaded device. You cannot get a 510 GGTB as of today. Um, I use a good profits adapter. They're a dollar, dollar fifty. It works flawlessly. This is a Bose 2.0 low resistance cartomizer. Uh, let me hit it up. I mean, that was a short little draw. I get plenty of vapor, good hit. Uh, let me do a longer one for you. Excellent vapor. Um, now, a lot of that's the cartomizer. These are great Bose 2.0 cartomizers. I highly recommend these. And the best thing about this mod is I know if the battery's fully charged, 
I'm not going to have to worry about it all day long. I can go anywhere, road trips, do whatever I want, not have to recharge this battery. The downside is I'm losing some size. Um, you know, imagine this is this, and you can see the size difference here. It's pretty, pretty extreme. Now, this isn't a huge mod. Uh, there's definitely bigger mods out there, but it's definitely a mod, and it's a big battery mod. It's not as big as some of the 18650 mods I've seen and used, but uh, it's got some good size to it. But I like it, and like I said, this battery, the uh, button's just great. So, uh, it's a mechanical mod. You will have to do weekly maintenance on it, unlike an electrical mod, which you really don't have to do any maintenance on, but if the electrical mod breaks, you're out of luck because you really can't get in there and fix it unless you have you know, really serious uh, electrical skills. This, you can normally fix on your own. Um, the threading on it was fantastic. I believe they will stand the test of time. They're, they're well made. They fit together perfectly. There's no grinding or anything when you're putting them together. The downside is the Ultrafire 17670. It wouldn't be as much of a downside if the sellers of this mod would list on their website that you cannot use, you're not guaranteed to be able to use Ultrafire 17670s. I've had it destroy one battery and it's only partially functional with the other one. So, you know, keep that in mind. But if you can deal with the fact that you have to use the slightly more expensive but better quality AW batteries, if you can deal with the fact that you have to do the maintenance on it about once a week, and um, if you can deal with the 901 threading, I'm a fan of the KR808, so that's really a plus for me. Um, but a lot of people are 510 users. So, if you can deal with those three things, this is a well-priced, well priced well um, I would love to call it a well put together mod, but it's a 17670 mod that can't use all 17670 batteries. So I'm going to have to call it a decently put together mod, which looks really good, and leave it at that. Um, the price is good. I hear they're going to be slightly higher at good profits, so they might not be as good. But uh, that's the Golden Greek telescopic battery for you, with all the flaws exposed. Um, it's still something I like. And I think once I get the AW battery, I'll like it even more. But it does have uh, some warts on it. You know, there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.